Hello and welcome to this special episode of Meditations for Saints in the Making. That's you. Well, technically, it's not actually an episode. This is a guided meditation that I had produced for users of the podcast's portal site located at lnk.2, lnk.to slash Catholic Meditations. You'll see that link in this episode's description. I produced this for users of the portal site, but I decided to make it available in the standard um, podcast catalog first because we're going into the Easter Triduum, and this is a good time to practice meditation, go a little bit deeper. Also, I haven't produced anything for meditations in a couple of weeks, and I took this week off from all podcasting. As you know, I do two podcasts, this one and a second one called The Catholic Experience. Check that out if you're not familiar with it. So I took this week off, and then to add on to the couple of weeks that I hadn't produced anything for meditations. So I wanted to leave you something, first, so that you'll know that I'm still alive, and second, so that you have something to uh, to take you into the close of Holy Week, the close of Lent, going up to Easter. If you enjoy Meditations for Saints in the Making, please let me know. I really need you to let me know. Drop a comment on my socials at For the Queen BVM on X, on Facebook at Catholic Adventurer. Drop a comment, drop a message. You can DM me on X if you have an X account. Let me know that you enjoy this uh, this podcast because it helps me to know which projects I should continue to devote my time to and which ones maybe I should probably step away from. This guided meditation is about 30 minutes long. The first half is a basic introduction to meditation for those of you who aren't familiar with how to do it. And I offer a couple of practical tips and guidelines for how to do it. Do you want more of a tutorial on how to meditate? Drop a comment on my socials and tell me that. I'm not a mind reader, not yet, but I'm getting there. So the first 15 minutes of this meditation are, you know, guidelines, practical tips. And then for the second half of this episode, that's the actual meditation. That's where we apply what we were discussing in the first half of the episode. So it's about a 15 minute long meditation, the actual meditation, about 15 minutes. And for your, for your information, that's a good mark to hit. Generally, it's a good practice to meditate about 15 minutes a day. The more you get into it, the longer your meditations will be. But you want to go, you want to shoot for about 10 to 15 minutes a day. So in this episode, I'm giving you 15 minutes and that should get you started. And without further ado, let's get into it. If you hear some references that don't make any sense, you know, exclusively available and things like that, just understand this was produced exclusively for people who use the uh, the portal site. And also I, I was doing it live on Twitter spaces just so that other people had an opportunity to enjoy it. So if you hear some references, <laughs> Here's some references that don't make sense and sound like they don't belong. That's why. Okay, now, without further ado, God bless you. God be with you. Have a good rest of your holy week and have a very happy Easter. I'll see you on the other side of Easter Sunday. Here we go. Hello and welcome to this meditation, which you are finding exclusively on the portal website for the Meditations for Saints in the Making podcast. And I thank you very much for joining me. I'm the Catholic Adventurer. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to do this meditation on the fourth uh, joyful mystery of the rosary. This meditation is relates to episode three, which I published today, episode three of Meditations for Saints in the Making, in which I talked about the subject, I guess, of finding Jesus predominantly through the lens of the fourth joyful mystery, finding Jesus in the temple. The way I do this, I'll meditate over a decade of the rosary. So I'm going to guide you through this meditation. This is basically going to be a decade of the rosary, but with pauses, with guidance, with prompts, so that you can meditate along with me. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Pour forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. What I want you to do, first of all, is be relaxed. Be seated, be relaxed. Don't lay down, you'll fall asleep. So just be seated. Don't be standing, just be seated. 
you want to be comfortable. So try not to be seated in a way that's awkward. The key is to feel very relaxed, okay? But you want to be seated. And close your eyes. I want you to begin breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just naturally. Just breathe naturally. But breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now keep doing that. And when I tell you to, not yet, but when I tell you to, I want you to take a deep, deep breath in through your nose. Not fast, but not slow. Deep breath in through your nose, and then you're going to hold it. Don't do it yet. You're going to hold it until I tell you to breathe out. When you breathe out, breathe out slowly. Okay, so breathe in through your nose. Not deep yet. Just breathe in and breathe out naturally. Now, we're about to take a deep cleansing breath, okay? So breathe in through your nose, nice and deep. Deep, deep, deep breath. Breathe in through your nose. And now slowly hold it, hold it. Don't breathe out yet. And slowly exhale. Slowly exhale. A cleansing breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Just naturally, not deep. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, you'll find your own rhythm. Let's do a nice cleansing breath again. Breathe in. Breathe, 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 breathe. Fill your lungs, fill your lungs. Now hold it. Hold it. Don't breathe out yet. Hold it. And then slowly exhale. Slowly, slowly exhale. Slow. Now just naturally breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth as we begin. I'm going to say these prayers vo uh, vocally, but I want you to say them in your head. Say them with me, but say them in your head. Don't say them with your mouth, okay? Now first, I want you to imagine yourself in a dark room. Close your eyes, keep your eyes closed, and imagine yourself in a dark room. You don't see anything. It's completely pitch black. But you're not afraid. You feel completely safe. You feel completely comfortable. And you're in this dark room just by yourself. And stay in that dark room by yourself as we begin to say these opening prayers. And then I will guide you to building an image in that space. But for now... Just be completely calm and at ease and at peace in that dark room as we pray. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sitteth at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As we do this, continue to breathe naturally, naturally, in through your nose and out through your mouth, in and out. Praying in your mind, not with your mouth, okay? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Take a deep cleansing breath now, deep, deep, deep in through your nose. Now hold it, hold it for a moment, hold it, and slowly exhale. Now breathe naturally. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. That's for faith and for hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And for charity, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now you're still in that dark room, you're breathing in through your nose, you're breathing out through your mouth. Every once in a while, you decide, I won't, I won't prompt you, but every once in a while, take a deep cleansing breath. Breathe in for a while, hold it for a few seconds, three, maybe four seconds, and then breathe out twice as long as it took you to breathe in. I want you to imagine that you're in Jerusalem. You're outside during the day in Jerusalem. And I want you to slowly start building that image in your imagination. Imagine the sun comes out and it's bright in the sky. Imagine the ground beneath your feet. Imagine the scenery all around you. Buildings, people, animals and carts, whatever. Imagine the scene all around you. Imagine the details for even in on, on the, the ground beneath your feet. Imagine those details. What does it look like? If you imagine that you're barefoot, imagine what it feels like, the ground beneath your feet. Imagine the sun shining down on your face, the breeze going, going across your face and your body. Maybe even imagine what the air smells like. Build every possible detail. The harder you work to build this scene, the more fruitful the Lord will make this meditation for you through grace. Build every possible detail, including the people. Imagine them talking to one another, bickering, whatever you think those people would have been doing. And look around you, look in your imagination, look to your left, look at what you see in this scene, look to your right, look at what you see. Now it's around the Passover festival, so it's probably very, very busy. Probably there are a lot of Jews from all over the place, from Israel, Jerusalem, and every other country. So it's probably bustling. They're probably all getting ready to leave. Maybe you see a bunch of people packing up their carts, getting ready to leave the city. You decide. I'm going to pray the Our Father now. And I want you, as you listen, to just continue to imagine the scene. Don't walk around in, in your imagination. Just stand there in this scene and look around and build the details and experience them as I say this, how Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Now, in your imagination, remember to breathe, by the way, remember to breathe. In your imagination, I want you to look in one direction, any direction. Look to your right, let's just say, look to your right. And you see Joseph and Mary, frantic. Maybe they've just arrived in, in the region of the temple. Let's say that's where you are. And they've just gotten there. And maybe they're asking around. Now, imagine what Mary and Joseph look like. If, if you want to imagine them looking like statues, the same look and everything, expression, that's fine. Whatever makes them most real for you. Imagine what they look like. They're talking to people, asking, probably not in English, right? You can imagine them speaking in English or any language that you can't understand. But you know, you know that they're asking, have you seen our son? Maybe the Holy Virgin is on the brink of tears. Maybe St. Joseph, you can see great anxiety in his face, but he's trying to keep it together. He's trying to keep it together. And I want you to follow them with your eyes and with your feet in your imagination. Follow them, follow them and watch, watch them, follow and watch them. I'm going to start these Hail Marys. I'll pause in between some of them. You can either say the Hail Marys with me or you can just imagine the scene. It's not a sin. It's not a sin. If you're joining me in prayer and I'm praying, it still counts for you. It's not a sin if you don't, you know, say these prayers and you just continue your imagination. If you do say these prayers, do not use your words, say them in your mind. If you feel like you're able to meditate better by moving your lips to the prayers, whatever works. Okay, whatever, that's okay, whatever works. Now follow Joseph and Mary as I pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now take a deep cleansing breath, a deep breath in through your nose. Now hold it. Hold it for a couple of seconds and then slowly exhale. Now follow the Holy Virgin and St. Joseph, follow them. They're now entering into the temple. And let's say they went up some stairs or something, I don't know. You, you imagine, it's your meditation. But they're now inside the temple. Imagine what the temple looks like. Imagine the people there. And as the Blessed Mother and St. Joseph talk to one of the attendants, it's as if he knows the, the boy they're talking about. Yes, I've seen him. And now they're talking, they're exchanging for a moment. And try to imagine what the Holy Virgin Mary looks like. Try to imagine how she's dressed. Try to imagine with your eyes what the texture of her clothing feels like or would feel like. 
Imagine St. Joseph, his expression, his appearance, his look. Really study them in this moment as they talk to that attendant. Do they see you? Do one of them shoot you a look? Are they, do they know that you're there and they're just letting you play along or are you invisible? It's up to you. Allow the Holy Spirit to guide your attention, your imagination. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And now we go along with Joseph and Mary as they're brought into the, the room or the hall where Jesus is. And you see the boy Jesus. And his parents see him. Imagine the joy, the exaltation, the shock, the astonishment. Watch the boy Jesus for a moment. Watch him. What's he doing? After three days, they found him in the temple sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. You know, as I read these scriptures, or if you're doing, when you do these things on your own, as you read the scripture, use them, use the scripture as prompts for your imagination. What does it look like when we say, when we see all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers? Imagine the expression of the elders, the look on their face as they're pondering what Jesus is saying, the look on some of their faces, uh, the look of amazement on their faces. Use the scripture to prompt your imagination. And when they saw him, Joseph and Mary were astonished. You know, I don't remember the word, the original word used in the original languages, but when the scripture says when Joseph and Mary saw him, that it doesn't just mean with their eyes. It almost means they recognized something in him. They saw him, not just with their eyes, but with their understanding, like they truly saw him. It was a very deliberate word that uh, the, the, I don't know if it was in Greek, but it was definitely in Latin. Very deliberate word that they used. We don't have an equivalent for it in English. They saw him, but they, not just with their eyes, they truly saw him. What does that look like in your imagination for Joseph and Mary to truly see him? Do you truly see him as you look at him now? Do you truly see him? Does he see you? 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And his mother said to him, My son, why have you done this to us? Behold, your father and I have been looking for you anxiously. And Jesus said to them, How is it that you sought me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And they did not understand the word which he spoke to them. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. You remember from the episode, episode three, I said, it doesn't just mean she remembered, it means she pondered, she meditated on what Jesus told her that day. Look at the face of the Blessed Mother. In your imagination, you can see. What I see is that even now, she's pondering. I see it in her face that she's pondering. What do you see? Joy? Happiness? Relief? What do you see in, the, in, in Jesus? What do you see in Jesus? An adorable child who just... <laughs> We just thought, this is no big deal, Ma. <laughs> and he hugs his mother and his father. He says, I'm sorry that I scared you. I don't know. It's up to you. As long as, it isn't, as long as what you imagine is not contrary to the facts of the scripture, you do, have, you do have some freedom to let your imagination roam a little bit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I'm going to bring this meditation to a close, but once this, once this ends, you can continue imagining. Continue imagining. Maybe review it in the scripture, if that helps you. Continue imagining. Play it out in your head, and play it out again, if you want to, and again. And again, and again, play it out 20, 30 times the exact same scene if you want. The deeper you meditate, the more you focus your imagination. The imagination is a supernatural faculty. The more you focus it, the more the Holy Spirit will take hold of it. And he'll lead you sometimes to profound truths that you never realized before. Or he'll lead you to teeny tiny ones that are also profound. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Make us saints. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I've been the Catholic Adventurer. You can play back this file as, as much as you want. I'll probably leave it here in the portal. Um, I haven't decided yet what I'll do with these long term, but it'll, it'll be here for at least until the next episode. So play it back again and meditate on this again. You think I'm kidding? Meditate on this for 15 minutes every day for a week. And watch how much more you know about this scene a week from now than you do today. Think I'm kidding? Prove me wrong. I'm the Catholic Adventurer. Thank you for listening. Keep me in your prayers. Keep my family in your prayers. God bless you. God be with you all. Bye-bye.